Let's get this to 1 million views, you know? Oh, you're not recording. Okay. <laughs> Okay, not as ugly as I am. You're Look at my nose. It's okay, say something, Cam. Like you're on. It's, it's oh, it's recording. Oh, no. Welcome <laughs> to the powder room, Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. I used to be a famous YouTuber. Okay. It's such dark colors. Your hair is dark, your shirt is dark, and then you're so pale. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the powder room with Sydney and my acne. I know you're <laughs> Why, why'd you do the finger guns? Because. Hey guys, welcome back to the powder room with Sydney and my acne featuring Nikki O. A plus. Feel pretty popular, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the powder room with Sydney and my acne and Nikki. She's here. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> I've, now I've really got to make my joke. I'm just a few <laughs> shades lighter than Nikki, so we couldn't share the foundation. Okay, should I redo the powder room thing? Yes, you can. Wait, no, no, do you not want to be sitting next to me? No. Why? <laughs> but then I'm nervous. translucent. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a Q&A with Sydney. This is me, my older stepdaughter. I'm older than her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, you want to introduce yourself? <clears throat> I'm Sydney. I'm my dad's oldest daughter from his first marriage, and we're doing a makeup video because Nikki is a makeup guru, and I don't know how to do makeup. So I'm gonna try and do it, and she's gonna tell me if I'm completely failing. I don't have any makeup, so I had to buy makeup today, and I'm really cheap because I probably won't use it, so I didn't want to, well, I will, maybe. I'm so, look at that. <laughs> I bought this to Gina. It's so white, it can't even pick it up. Um, I don't know if it's my shade. I just picked the lightest one. And then this. And she's looking at the monitor, by the way. Oh, this. Yeah, please. I can't be like too like my dad, because people will be like, oh wow. She's totally like <laughs> she asked my like dad. <laughs> and then I bought this, because it was $4. It's bronzer and blush. Okay. Yes, I think. And then I borrowed this from my mom. <laughs> it's mascara. I don't know who's this from. Benefit. Okay, Benefit. And then this highlighter stick. Sorry. <laughs> and then I'm probably gonna borrow a bunch of Nikki's makeup because I don't have anything else. Okay. Can I do like green eyeshadow? Yeah. You got some. That thing? Yeah, Maybe I that? have some green, green eyeshadow. Okay. And then yeah, we're also gonna answer questions. Okay, so let's start with the first question. What was it like having Nikki as a stepmother? See, no, like, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I kind of wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, because I get so, I feel like I get a lot of stuff that their parents don't get to know. So, I think it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I'm a cool one. She's a cool stepmom. Yeah. Um, were you hurt or jealous because it's just been you two for so long? I was never like, oh god, another kid. I always wanted a lot of siblings. I wanted, like, to have a family of four or or more so i think it was exciting i just have pictures when sydney met isla but i don't we don't really and i'll insert it right here did they think it was weird that their dad was with such a younger woman did they learn a lot from you i think probably initially it was because not because most often than not it's not a large age difference so probably at first it was kind of like interesting but it was never like Never bad. It was just new because he was with he was with somebody before that was his age or older. So it was just different. Was she older than him? No, I don't remember her. I kind of blocked that out. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How is your relationship with stepdaughter's mother? Have you met it's her? It's okay. Yeah. yeah. I have no <laughs> memory. Um, yeah, she's she oh, seems yeah. nice. She seems she's pretty cool. quiet. Yeah, I don't have to deal with baby mama drama, so that's a yeah. plus. I know a lot of friends who go through that, and yeah. I'm just saying I'm blessed to not have to deal with that. They're like friends, so it's cool. Yeah. Do y'all have a good relationship? Who's y'all? I think you and me and Cameron. Oh yeah, I think so. Cameron, what do you think? She's sitting on the sideline. She's shy. I think so, yeah. I think it's fun. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And I taught Cameron how to drive, by the way. And she's teaching me how to do makeup now. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Oh, there we go. How soon 
soon did you know he had older children? Did you have to get used to the idea of dating an older man with older kids? That's interesting. How soon did I know? I think that's like one of the first things you talk about when you're getting to know someone. Yeah, I was like, I have kids. Yeah, you're like... Foundation first? Yeah. Or primer, damn. What's Sitting primer? Your primer. <laughs> I don't have primer. Here. Wait, is it not concealer Do first? you have draft skin or oily skin? Mm, both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Use some of that. Just do this. Okay, yeah, should I watch this off? You no, can't even just... see that there's anything on the face. <laughs> But yeah, did I already say how I got the IUD? I didn't used to have acne. And then I got the IUD like in March last year. As soon as that happened, my face was just like disgustingly broke out. And at first it was like a bunch of pimples on my forehead and then that went away. Is that too much? No. And then- That's not enough, girl. I already did one. Oh, okay. It's the same. And then that didn't really do anything. Damn. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna change my diet drastically. But don't people do all the dots first? Yeah. You know? Oh. Okay. Um, how old are they? What did they do? Schoolwork for dad? What was their first impression of you? How much time do they actually spend with their dad? Would they consider themselves spoiled? What kind of cars do they drive? What are their career goals? Damn. Okay. Damn, y'all nosy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we both are in university. Um, we both work, our, we've never worked for my dad. We both either work in restaurants or fruit markets. We, I go to school in Canada, so I don't see any of my family very often. And then Cameron goes away from uh, Louisville, so she is gone too. But yeah, we're spoiled. What kind of cars? We used to share a Toyota Corolla, and now she has a Well, no, you had your own car. I have my own car, then Cameron <laughs> got that car. And then um, I have it again, and now she has a Lexus. I want to be a high school English teacher, and Cameron's thinking of real estate. It looks like all of I wouldn't even know to ask. It is. <laughs> um, what's it like to have such younger siblings? Fun. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to watch how fast babies grow up. Are the girls into makeup and fashion like you? <laughs> Not me. Um, I always know what to get Cameron. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sydney's into fashion. Yes. Yeah. Favorite part about being older big sisters to the little ones that you get to see as babies? I've hung out with Isla more than I've hung out with Ira. And it's just fun doing all the little kid things again. Like we went to Build-A-Bear the other day and I mm -hmm. forgot all of it. It's so different now. Mm -hmm. It's fun doing all of that kind of stuff. Say thank you, Sydney. Say thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. Give her kisses. Uh. What is the relationship like with you and Honey's parents and siblings and vice Who is Honey? I think that's Deb. Normally they'll say Chris though. They all know his name. Well, maybe so, she just wants to say honey. What is the relationship like with you and Honey's parents and siblings and vice versa? That's a can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the in the room, his parents are dead. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, his parents are deceased. So we don't really have a relationship, but they have a great relationship with Isla. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how was it having a black stepmom? How was it having biracial siblings? Uh, damn. Um, the wedding was really fun. It, like, it's just having a stepmom. But like the wedding was, cause it was mostly black people and, <laughs> and I'm a horrible dancer. And they're all amazing dancers. And they're all like, dance to you. I'm like, no, you don't want me to do that. <laughs> um, no, it is so fun. Everybody was so nice and funny. Even though we, I had never met any of them before. Yeah. And it was just like walking into a giant family. Like they all just cared so much. Yeah. And were really nice. Um, biracial siblings. I think that's like, what is it like having a sibling of the same race? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't it's just like having little siblings. Yeah. Um, did the girls accept you straight away? My husband is in his 50s and I'm in his early 30s. His kids weren't friendly with me in the beginning because of age difference. It took a while before they realized I'm not a gold digger and now we are friends. What do you Did think? the girls were accept me right away? They were never ever mean to me. Um, I get along with anybody. I'm mm -hmm. easy to talk to, so I've never had that problem. Like, I've never had that type of drama. I don't think we would be mean to anybody in general, but like... Mm -hmm. Mine is dated. <laughs> we'll go to there later. <laughs> yeah. um, how do they react to knowing you were young and black? It was never like, oh, she's, she's black. black. Yeah. Um, the young thing, like I said, yeah, just because not everybody is in a really age difference relationship. 
Do you ever feel like people watch us? I don't really like notice if they do. How does it feel to have like celebrity parents? (laughs) (laughs) Well, um, actually, no. Everybody knows the name Thenaman. So that's kind of annoying because it's always like, who are you related to? And it's like, this is either going to go well or horrible for me. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> either they either, it's like very uh, divided. People either really like him or really hate him, I feel like. Yeah. Because um, Canada doesn't really, like students don't usually have cable. And I didn't know many people watched 90 Day Fiance. So that was interesting when people were like, because my family isn't up there. So they'll ask me like what my family's like. And I'm like, I don't know, have you ever watched 90 Day Fiance? And some people are like, yes, why? And I'm like, oh God, what? And I was like, do you know the episode with David and Annie? And they're like, oh my God, are your parents Chris and Nikki? And I was like, yes. <laughs> what the fuck, how do you know that? Like right off the top of your head, like a specific, oh, your parents are Chris and Nikki. And I was just like, oh, yeah. So that was interesting. Here we go. Do they watch 90 Day Fiance? What do they think of David and Annie? Do they share Chris' affinity for helping the underdog? Um, I did download 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> that was so weird. So I've known, me and my sister, my sister and I have known David. I don't know how young. Elementary or middle school? Yeah, because I said before, David was in the picture long before I was in the picture. Should I, am I blending this but with my finger? But he's always been David. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. you can blend it with your finger. Okay, shit. What? One finger. <laughs> okay. One finger at a time. It's gonna take a long time. Or you could just leave it on there, it gives you more coverage. Okay. And then put the foundation on. It seems dark. Yeah. My sister and I used to um, throw marshmallows at us. They had a marshmallow <laughs> gun. <laughs> and we would post up behind a couch and you'd be watching TV. Wait, why don't you like him? He is gross. Like, everybody knows. There's watch- everybody that watched Any Day Fiance was like, ew, David. Disgusting. Um, yeah. What advice would you give for a good blended family? Mind your business. <laughs> no, seriously. Mind your business. <laughs> if it doesn't concern you, stay out of it. But yeah, if it doesn't concern you, stay out of it. Shit. Do they always like you? How do you have, do you have girls time? Do you guys always like me? I don't think we ever had a problem with you. Yeah. I think we've, I think we started. We've had one falling out. Oh yeah. Yeah. We did. What happened? But then, um, I think we've hung out more and more and gotten closer and like seen your relationship with my dad. Cause I think at first, cause he had just gotten out of a bad relationship. Yeah. I think I was probably kind of wary and hesitant because mm-hmm. I didn't want to go through anything like bad again. Mm-hmm. And, um, but the more, I I've, I've seen you all hang out. I've seen how good you are for each other. Like he's like, I feel like he's changed a lot with yeah. you. Yeah, coming into it, it was almost like, um, like saving him in a way. I, it's good they can't even see the mistakes. Oh <laughs> shit, Sydney! You yeah. said this is good. They can't even see it. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Shit! It's fine. I'll just keep. Do you want to switch mirrors? <laughs> No, no, it's okay. I'll just keep answering questions and it will get better. <laughs> um, and, and it, you came in. Okay, I read on the bottle how I'm supposed to apply this. Wait, I have a question. Did you guys ever think I was like only with your dad for money? I think at the beginning I was kind of concerned because the last relationship was like in it for bad reasons. Mm-hmm. But like I said, like the more I've hung out, it's been like just all love, I think. Like it's really different. Yeah. In a good way. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck, Sydney, you gonna apply that with your hands? Well, then I'm so beautiful. What are you doing? It's in my hair. They can't see it. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> you keep saying they can't see it. And you sit back. No, it's so back. embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just. It looks like it matches you. Almost. <laughs> you okay, hold on. Let's. Let, yeah, I do have makeup wipes. Right okay, here. You wanna just start over or what? Nah, I'll work with it. Cameron, you wanna wet one for her? Can we come say hi to the peeps? We, oh, you, <laughs> gotta tell your, you gotta tell your David story. Oh, you can just wet it at the bar. Oh, where were we? Oh, I was really protective of him over the last relationship. Like, I told him to get out of it. At the end, I was like, he said I should have listened to him. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I was just looking out for him. Yeah. As any daughter would. Yeah. Um, and he's, you know, a big figure in this town. So it was like, yeah, you know. Well, lot, I wasn't from here, so I didn't. Honestly, didn't know like how big 
or how big of a deal Chris was. Like, so like a lot of people have tried to take advantage. I don't think it was ever an attack against you. I think it was just like yeah. any young person. I think it would have been like, mm. well, you guys have never expressed that to me, so I didn't know that honestly. Express but me. um, this is wiping off. No, you, you gotta you don't, tap it. You tap oh. into the skin. Oh, mm -hmm. I have a more. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna make a joke about how Nikki and I are the same skin tone, so I had to go buy my Omega. <laughs> it was a dad joke. There's a question later on, is she as funny as her dad? Something funnier. It looks like I put a bunch on my neck, but that's just the color and of And I neck. think, okay, we should just let you Should I put my hair up? I think you should start yeah, over. Should I? Because it's a matte foundation and it's like it's dried up. Thank you. Alice says it's funny, that's all I care about. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to see if they're as funny as Chris and Island. Right. Um, <laughs> how old were you when your parents got a divorce? Uh, I was in fifth grade, I think. Karen was in second grade. Mm -hmm. When they got divorced, I was in fifth grade. I was seven. Felt awkward. Is so. it awkward being closer in age to me than my dad? No, because Chris doesn't act his age. If you all know Chris. So. True. Yeah. No. He's about my age too. Yeah. Did I say he got a dad pin for Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> what in tarnation? Does he use it? I don't No, he doesn't use it. It's brand new. Wow, yeah, you, like, do you know how to put it together? Yeah. Okay, you cover you your lids. In... No, like with the foundation. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. I need more. Did they always welcome you with open arms? Did Did you feel welcomed? Yeah, okay. I, I felt awkward around the whole family because, you know. Well, just, yeah. I think everybody did. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like being a younger stepmom? I think it's pretty cool being a younger stepmom because, I don't know, I told you, like I'm, I feel like the cool one. I get a lot of details before the parents, so mm -hmm. that's always fun. And I get to give them advice because I just, like, not too long ago went through some of the shit that they're going through, so it's kind of cool. Do you give them any type of advice or life lessons? Life Didn't lessons? I just say that? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Especially when it comes to like guys and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Been through a lot of bad one of those. <laughs> um, uh, I thought there were only, Cameron and I have a different mom. Or we have the same mom, but not yeah. Nikki. <laughs> Someone on Facebook recently was like, Sydney must get all her creative genes from Nikki. And I was like, what? Do you see the camera picking up these colors? <laughs> She's not my mom. Yeah. A lot of people think that they're my kids. I don't know how. You're a very strong, confident, and self-assured woman. Just by watching you on the show, it's clear that if you don't like something, you let it known. You let it be known and you don't take any BS. How did the girls respond to that strong aspect of your character? Are the girls at all intimidated by you in any way or are they pretty open with you? Which one of you is more strict and which is more laid back about things? No, I don't think your dad is strict. Do you guys think he's strict? No. Yeah. Is your mom strict? Mm hmm Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah? She used to be. Not anymore. Oh. Uh, yeah. When we were younger, yeah. I didn't think she was. I'd be like, damn. You get to do that. <laughs> I don't know. How did you guys respond to my personality? Mm, I think it was cool and refreshing. Yeah, I remember when you said, damn, I wish I could be like that. Uh-huh. I was, I was always pretty... Um, like a pushover and really? never really, oh, not kind of a pushover and like wouldn't really say what I felt or like my truth, especially to guys or in relationships or anything. Mm -hmm. I kind of was just like, yeah, yeah. And then you were like, no, fuck. Yeah. I was like, true. So, I feel like I've grown in that way. Yeah. Do you want a beauty blender? I'm pretty tiny. We are beat. I am beat. We are caked. Caked. <laughs> We're about to be baked. Baked. <laughs> Yeah. Favorite memory of when you first started as a stepmom relationship? One of my favorite memories with Chris alone was when um, Sydney was going through a rough time and we went to uh, uh, Vegas and he got your painting, your drawing tattooed on him. And he <laughs> wanted to do it for you. I was like, so, we went to Vegas. Yeah. We, just to go to this one artist, like. And then the favorite memory with the girls would probably be the wedding. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah. 
That was what I. That was the best wedding I've ever been to. Ever. I think I've hated most weddings I've been to. Yeah, our our wedding was lit. It was so fun. It was lit. The whole thing, like getting ready, because yeah. they did they did the most makeup I've ever had on my face ever. <laughs> but it looked so pretty. It right? did. I'm like, I showed to one of my friends mm -hmm. back at school, and they were like, "Oh my god!" I was like, "I know." I was like, oh. "I think." I just remember. Us reading our vows to one another and you guys crying. Oh, I sobbed when I was walking yeah. down the aisle. When you were walking down, you cried. Oh my god, yeah. I, I didn't really expect myself to, no, but I'm really an emotional person. And then, yeah, we stood behind you guys and you were reading them, and I was like, oh my god. I didn't know if you cried that hard. I cried so hard. I mean, that was that was touching mm -hmm. because in my vow, well, like we wrote our own vows, mm -hmm. and in my vows, I wrote a piece to Cameron and Sydney. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was cool. <laughs> Would you. Advice to get into a relationship with someone who has kids from a previous relationship. I feel like it's a package deal look So if you want the person and they have kids you got kids mm -hmm. and if not then Keep it moving. That's it And then uh, what was the next question? Um, yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess there aren't that many people Parents that are in interracial relationships that I grew up with yeah. So I guess it was. Was it different? Mom's not. more fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's never like. I, I mean, I guess it was acknowledged because not that many people were, and it was new, and he had never dated a black girl before. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess in that way. I don't know. Is that a good answer? I don't really yeah. know. If it's your truth, then it's a good answer. You. And you dated outside your race. Yeah, Cameron I, Cameron is currently, and my senior year uh, boyfriend was mixed. And it was yeah. never a thing. Like, my parents were never, like, interesting. Yeah. They were both like, she has a boyfriend. Yeah. It wasn't, like, a color thing. Yeah. Do they always come around? Are they truly happy for you and their dad? What's the relationship like? Is it genuine? Is it fun? Do they respect you as an adult? Or do they think you're too close to their age? Do they like black women? Do they like black women? That's what it's said. No, we don't. Wait, I have to say something important. Cameron and I don't like black women. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you, what? Wait, maybe they think I'm like, maybe they won't think I'm joking. <laughs> we like black women, yes. We don't have a problem. <laughs> um, are they truly happy for you and their dad? I think he's probably the most at peace than I've seen him. He's he's always been like a hectic person, has a million things going on at once. But I think yeah. with you, he's like started to learn how to calm down and like talk about things mm -hmm. rather than keep them inside. Mm -hmm. So yes, I am truly. What's your relationship like? Is it genuine? Is it fun? Yeah, I think our relationship is fun because I look forward to when the girls are in town because I don't know, they just make me laugh. They're really fun. Funnier than my dad. Y'all are all equally funny. <laughs> this shit is what just I was looking funny. For. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really funny. Especially like Cameron. Cameron is like the jokester. I wish she, she was is a part really of funny. Yeah, she is really funny. <laughs> I think we all laugh a lot. Yeah, it's just yeah. a thing. Like the four of us. Do they respect you as an adult or do they think you're too close to their age? Do I come off as a person that'll like, be disrespected? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would like happen. I don't think I would be here. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're really respectful of me. Chris's older girls, it appears they were both brought up beautifully because I only see joy in their faces as they have a moment frolicking with Ella. I guess the only question I could pose is why do we only see one of Chris's Ellis in your vacation blog? Cameron doesn't like to be filmed that much. She is pretty shy. And this is my first time on. Yeah, and you only saw Cameron because Sydney is away at school in Canada, so it's not easy for her to just come here and go on a vacation for so long. We were on that cruise for a week. I think one or two weeks. Or two weeks, yeah. So, yeah, that's why Cameron was able to be a part. Do you sometimes carry out mommy duties on the older girls? Mommy duties? Mm -hmm. She does change my diapers. Sometimes. <laughs> Taught Cameron how to drive. I mean, like, sometimes we go shopping together in Cali. We used to have a blast in Cali. Oh, yeah. Horseback riding together. Oh, that was so fun. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see yourself ending up with an older guy with kids? I've never seen myself ending up with an older guy with kids. I never saw myself with kids. 
myself. Oh, wow, really? I never ever wanted kids. Wow. I never ever wanted to be married. Really? Really. I didn't know tell that. you. Yeah. So how did that happen? I was just like, man, come on. He down for the ride. Let's, let's check it out. Let's see what it's like. Wow. <laughs> YOLO. Really? YOLO. Tell Neat. them what you're using. <laughs> wow. Here's another game. This is the Zulu by Juvia's? Mm hmm Oh my god, those, those look two fun. Amazing. So yeah, she's going to use that palette. That is so those cool. Those two palettes. I don't even know. Here's the fun part. I absolutely know. You know, okay. People used to put, except for the wedding video, every, any other time someone just put makeup on me, I usually cry. Wow. Or, actually, no. When I do it myself. You cry? And then, yeah. What? Because when you do it so horribly, like, <laughs> you know, you look ugly. Like, if you don't put things the right place. <laughs> How do you find time for yourself? How do you balance being a wife, mother, and YouTube vlogger? It's really stressful. And I don't consider myself a YouTube vlogger. I just consider myself a normal person like you that enjoys doing makeup and fashion. Honestly, I only put vlogs out because you guys enjoy them. I I don't really like vlogging. Really? Because I'm such a private person. I've always been that way. So it's been something that's like way out of my comfort zone. Whoa, Sydney. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I literally got white popcorn butter on it. Um, here's a good one. What are some positive qualities about them? Oh, that's a good one. None. No. Thank you. So, Cameron first or you first? You Cameron. Okay. Cameron, she's smart. Both are smart. She got a little swag to her. <laughs> like she's, I don't know, we're into the same music, makeup. Oh yeah, so yeah, they're both um, really smart. I think Cameron's, is Cameron more outgoing or no? It depends on the situation, I think. Mm-hmm, I agree. But me and your dad go back and forth about this all the time. I think you're a social butterfly, he says no. Really? Yeah, what do you think? I think it depends. Yeah, because you're such a people person, like you're good talking to people. Really? I think so. I think it depends on- Like being on a waitress. It. True. I think it depends when I want to. Well, customer service. Yeah, you always have jobs on customer service and- I definitely have more of a customer service than Cameron and Cameron. So that's good. She's, she's strong-willed, I think. Mm -hmm. Sydney has to hit a breaking point for her to be like that. Yeah, and then- Sydney's outgoing. I think she's strong. I consider you strong, like, going through the stuff that you go through. Thanks. <laughs> I, I don't know. I see Sydney being someone who's gonna like change the world, like a Oprah or a Maya Angelou. That's a very high compliment. Yeah, she loves writing, and she just thinks like super deep. That's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what have they taught you as parents? One thing that they taught me, well, I don't know. I feel like communication, because I don't know if you're, you, I don't know. I, I think they taught me like just how to be open and communicate everything, like how to deal with certain things or certain situations when it comes to Isla when she's older. So I'm happy that I've experienced that now. Um, what are you looking forward in the future with them? I'm looking forward to like their marriages. I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to what life will be like once Ira gets older. Like, like he has a personality, but like he loves Cameron. Yeah, Me it's and crazy. Isla. And then Isla and Sydney are so close, and then Cameron and Ira are closer. But I swear, Isla is like, it's we've always just had fun. Yeah, yeah. like weird. We just were so close when she was a baby. So still are now, but like when uh, she was younger. We were just weirdly close, and now we're still weirdly like. Just I don't think it's weird. Like they just connect on a different level. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't. I feel. I. I kind of feel like at some point Isla would live with me, even if nothing did happen to you. Mm -hmm. You know, like go through her teenage years. Like I want to be with my big sis. Yeah, I kind of feel like that. Oh, that's cool. No, I just feel. I. I hope we are close when we are older too. Yeah. Because what we would be. I don't think she'll change. Isla's so. always been really sweet. I think so. 
I think Isla and Sid will be really close and Cameron and Ira will be really close. Cause they too, so cute. Yeah. Isla is always just like, I miss my sister. Like I want my sister. She's, I don't know. And I don't know if it's because she doesn't get to see you as much, but they're just crazy close, but they've always been extremely close. Mm -hmm. It's always been your it's little really baby. It's really cute. Every time I show pictures of me and I like my mom, she's like, God, you too are just. <laughs> like, oh, I can show it in my phone. We like, should do, yeah. like, you should put like a slideshow of a bunch of pictures of you. Yeah, know? because you know, you guys like take a ton of selfies mm -hmm. and I never delete them. Mm -hmm. It's like over a hundred. Oh yeah, do they date interracial? Yes, both of us. Are they Wait, jealous? Wait, someone asked that? Yeah, someone said, do they date interracial? I think I already said that. Are they jealous of their dad's relationship with the two youngest kids? Definitely not jealous. I'd, I'd like, I think, I, like I said earlier, I always wanted a really big family. Um, also, like, who's jealous of babies? Like, yeah. Um, no, some people, like, not I jealous, guess, but, like, envy. Do yeah, you yeah, envy? Yeah. No. Like, how often do we see each other? Not that often. Not a lot, because Sydney's far away. Um, but I'm going to go visit her before she really graduates. Should. Yeah. I think this is sort of similar. Uh, do you consider yourself a second type of mother figure or a friend? I consider myself both, like, somewhat a mother figure, but not really because they have their mom, but, like, just seeing things from, like, I give them advice from a mom's standpoint and then, like, from a friend's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would think both. Um, did Chris marry you for sexual reasons? What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is that really a question? Yeah, 12 hours ago. Is that all the questions? Was that it? Yeah. Last one was sexual. Do you we'll finish up our face and we'll come back. Okay. Right. Okay, hey guys, so we just finished up our faces and this is our finished looks. We hope you do. Sydney did pretty good for her first time. I wanted to do like a fun kind of color. I sort of look like I'm going to a Mardi Gras party because I use purple eyeliner, but still do. I, I feel like one of your cheeks are heavier blush than that. Probably. <laughs> But she tried. That's all I I did try. She said and this is the first time that she didn't cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I do my own makeup. I do it usually and I'm like, I'm so fucking ugly. And I was like, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, she, she enjoyed herself. So we hope we answered all of you guys' questions and that you got a better view of our family or our dynamic. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to add to me. Um, it was fun. I missed you too. Yeah, anything else that we missed or we need to add, I'm going to put it in that voice so we all know. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Um, hopefully, you'll see Sydney in a vlog or something. We'll go up to Canada and visit her. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show the cupcakes? Oh. Ah. I like came over yesterday and we had a little girl stay with Cameron. Me and Cameron. And we made cupcakes and watched Sing. And she played with dogs. It was. She started crying really hard when I dropped her off. She was like, I don't want to oh, no, She didn't want to leave. She loves hanging out with her sissies. So yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so we'll see you guys next time in the powder room. <laughs> oh, okay, that was fun. Talk to the people. Tell them hey. a deep, dark secret. Uh, well... When I was in the seventh grade, my dad brought two, was it seventh grade? Two cakes in the shape of a one and a three. And when I went to therapy over it, I was so mad. <laughs> I told him, I was, I was in the No, this is 100% a real story. I was, in, I was already in therapy, so it wasn't like I just went to therapy. Okay. Went to therapy. But um, I told him, I was like, I don't want anything. I guess everybody knows he's over the top. They've seen yeah. my videos. But I was like, I don't want anything over the top. I Jen <laughs> has all of the teachers say happy birthday to me with a giant two cakes, a one and a three. And I was like... So the, are you still upset about that? Oh, yeah. I didn't want that. <laughs> but I, then I just looked like a brat. Now he's on 90 Day Fiance. Uh, yeah, I really like Time of Sausage. You think you, you could do that for, uh, you know, help out around here? I was like... <laughs> And my friends were like, did he really ask for a Thai massage? I was like, no, no, it, was, it wasn't script. It was, it was on the script. What's a fun fact about you? Fun fact about me? Mm -hmm. I could uh, do my belch on screen. <laughs> and uh, this is how I used to get boyfriends in second kindergarten. Really? 
I haven't had a Coke today. <sighs> I can do it longer. Oh my God, Sydney. You've never seen me do normal. that? No. You've never seen me do that? No. Okay, wait, hold on. Now I gotta do it longer. That's not even the best that I have. You should put that at the end. This is part of a charm. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> that was fun. Whoa, shit. <laughs> so bad. Do it. You want to? Yeah, let's all do it. Okay. Bonding. Bond. Do we bond? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do we do what we do? Yes. <laughs> do you use bronzer? I do. Okay. I asked Cameron. Uh, Cameron was like, "You need bro or do you need bronzer?" And I was like, "I bet Nikki has some." And she was like, "Nikki's black." And I was like, "She probably still uses bronzer." And she was like, "Yeah, maybe." Oh, your battery is almost dead. Oh no. I just was laughing so hard the other day when I texted you and I was like, "Heard y'all eat ass," and you're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sydney watches our videos now. I do. What is um, it like to have your, like, to see us on YouTube or, like, TV? The only thing is just he makes so many pervy jokes. I know. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know what. They lo they love him for I, that. I know. They I love read him. all the comments. They the are crazy comments. about Chris. It's, like, not a true video without him. I know. Oh, I just said it's fun being back on YouTube because <laughs> I never made it big back in the day. <laughs> I she had a YouTube even, channel. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I never, I've only had like for your wedding and then maybe like one other time. But you did this. I did. <laughs> and the lip I'm, combo. At least I'm not as red as my dad on here. Yeah, no. Because we're far from traditional, we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. This is us.